Hey everybody, thank you for visiting my channel and thank you for all the support that you guys gave me for my last video. I wanted to make this uh, new entrance to this video that was shot a week ago after my first video was released. I decided to create a video that showed uh, the inside of my tiny office. So it's crammed full of stuff and my friends love to come over and play with all the toys that are in my tiny office but I just wanted to let you guys know that this is a really wonderful first look at all the accessories and all the gear that are necessary to produce uh, better quality YouTube videos so it's wonderful uh, to have a tiny little office <laughs> at Bart Smarts, we don't try to take ourselves too seriously. That's why you'll see all the wording in this video uh, is a little bit, um, well, you read into it what you will. I was laughing uh, when I said it out loud, and I didn't mean to say it out loud, but it just came out that way, and I decided to stick with it. So uh, I hope you guys all enjoy it. Pause the video and read all the wordage. Okay. Have a great day. Thank you. Enjoy this upcoming video. Hey Patreons, come and join me on a quick tour of my home office. It's small, very crowded, but I'm going to give you a quick tour and just show you the overview and maybe a quick little view of a possible set of projects that I'd like to work on. We're going to come down the hallway here, and this is the door. Don't get scared when you see all the stuff. We have bins of storage, 3D printer stuff, future projects, the rigging, key lights, microphone, that's a blue Yeti, that's my primary vlog camera. 7.5 inch screen, there's a camera now, there's a little screen, remote control for this camera that we're recording on right now, there's a no tripod with a mini action cam on it, and uh, this little camera here is fantastic, CNC machine in the process of being converted into a laser uh, cutter, as well as 3D printer. Here we have the guitar. Over there we have music equipment, all vintage stuff, and down here is where we have the uh, Drobo and the Terror Master storage, the UPS backup power supply. This is the editing station, I like to call it the creation station. That's my LG 29 inch wide, uh, running with the Mac M1 and the Corsair K700 keyboard modified with Mac keys. Over here we have a stream deck and over here is a loop deck. This is my old MacBook Pro 13 inch. I love the way the light from the workbench glows on the orange case. Over here is the workbench. Got a few projects in the works. Signal generator. Over here. This is the oscilloscope. And over here, hiding behind all these future projects, is the power supply. Down here, we have a whole bunch of stuff for unboxing videos. 
everything from teleprompters to battery packs. Uh, down here I have a desk mat that I'm going to be putting in place of this desk mat here. And over here I have rails that I'm going to be mounting underneath the desk here to hold this keyboard. I have this nice piece of wood sitting here waiting to be mounted. So I gotta put that project together. So over here is a blue compass. This camera mount and the blue compass are going to be mounted probably off of here on the gaming desk, probably in the back there. And then that will allow me to get a bird's eye view of what's going on on the workbench, as well as what's going on here for editing purposes. These are some of the other projects. Uh, I'm going to be doing an unboxing of this later on. Over here we have a remote for the teleprompter project. And over here we have uh, camera mounts. These are by far the best little camera mounts in the universe. These, I put them onto everything. And all you do is you take your camera and you click it in, pull it out, that's a whole video. Even one that'll hold the phone, I can just take a, a phone, click it in, and now suddenly I have a mount for a phone. I want to remove it, just like that. We have a wireless mic setup, Sermonic, those are excellent. Charging station for all the cables and all the battery packs. We have the studio lights, tons and tons of electronics. That's the 3D resin printer in white and orange. And that is the curing station in black and orange on the left side of it. And that's another studio light. This tripod, when you free the lever here, it goes ahead and if you move it, it'll automatically return to center and balance itself automatically. Fantastic. Down here we have a Manfrotto tripod, closets full of more stuff to unbox and explore. A couple of books on the shelves. People know I like Stitch. So there you go. You have a quick view of my small home office, the creation station, the workbench, hopefully the music uh, section, keyboard on the creation station, and uh, that keyboard I didn't mention earlier, that's um, Native Instruments, 61 key, I believe. I'm looking at getting a, uh, a new Mac uh, Studio uh, M1. I'm hoping to be able to afford the Ultra. But I don't think it's going to be anytime soon. <laughs> it's just too expensive. But maybe if everybody supports me, maybe we can get there. Well, thank you so much to all my patrons and everybody. Uh, let me know what you want to see more of in high detail uh, about specific items. If you want to see more about the workbench on the creation station or any of the components that I use, whether it's the arms that support the, the MacBook Pro and the iPad, or whether it's the SD card reader or uh, anything that you've seen in the video that you want to know more about, just uh, send me a message and I will uh, try to do a video on it for you guys. Okay, everybody, thank you for uh, tuning in. Please like this and support my channel and uh, I hope to uh, see you soon. Thank you.